vampires in the 22nd century? Not likely. But as Sherlock Holmes always says, when you've eliminated the impossible, whatever remains, no matter how improbable, must be the truth. Central computer access reporting. All quiet here. Good night. Insufficient data, I'm afraid. No doubt. Speaking of which, Lestrade should be calling any moment now. Holmes, I need your help. I've been expecting your call, Lestrade. I believe the Sussex vampire struck again. How did you... Oh, never mind. I should be used to it by now. Meet me in New London, First Bank, Main Branch, Financial District, immediately. Come, Watson. There is an unauthorized withdrawal in progress. What happened last night was likely a dry run, a practice session. This so-called Sussex vampire was just warming up. It would not be content with a few boring county records. Hmm. I say, Watson, can you find out when the county's backup system will be operational? I'll check with them first thing in the morning. They don't work in the middle of the night out in the countryside, you know. Only vampires do that. Or criminals. This perp has gotten more daring, and the bank's computers are time-locked inside a high-security vault, but that didn't stop him. Somehow he got in, and he's still there. Really? How do you know? <laughs> Ugh, he's laughing at us. As well he may. The sucker changed the vault codes on us. Not even the Royal Bank Examiner could get in now. Really? Uh, Finally, the heavy artillery is here. Wait until this ionic cannon does its thing. That smirking perp won't be laughing then. This should be interesting. I've not seen one of these particular devices in action yet. For all the good it will do in capturing our elusive felon. Just a few more centimeters of steel and the jaws of justice will put the bite on our cape, criminal. After all this destruction, one would hope so. Those Galacto steel vault doors are a full meter thick, Holmes. They were designed to withstand a nuclear war. Ah, but nothing can withstand our Lestrade. She is a force of nature unto herself. Look, Watson, how she enjoys her work. Gotcha now! Huh? Wait a minute. Uh, this can't be. He was here a moment ago. And now it appears he's gone. Or never was. Uh, dead. Just like the computer in Sussex County. He drained it. Oh, uh, what now? Lestrade, this is Chief Inspector Grayson. I'm going to be personally supervising this investigation. I'll be there momentarily. Don't do anything rash, Lestrade. Oh, no. Wait till he sees this mess. I believe that is our cue to leave, Watson. Don't let Chief Inspector Grayson grind you down, Lestrade. The game is afoot, and you may have your culprits sooner than you think. Irregulars, come to order. As you know, the first step in solving a mystery is to gather all the relevant facts and data. Tennyson, you will examine the Sussex County database for irregularities. Look for anything that seems out of place, even if it appears totally insignificant. Deidre, you will research the rather bizarre theatrical imagery affected by this alleged vampire. Watson has prepared a video disc for your perusal. Study it well. You may see what others have missed. I'm on it. You know, Mr. Holmes, you could be way off base. What if he's for real? You mean a real vampire? I reread Bram Stoker's Dracula last night. I found it most engaging for a work of fiction. Fiction, yes, but the legends it was based on are older than... 
Well, you, for example. You'd best not take it so lightly, Mr. Holmes. I am surprised our Deidre would be so superstitious. After all, we've known for three centuries that there is no such thing as vampires. Wiggins, you and Watson will be staking out the Greater New London Computer Center, starting at sundown. <laughs> I should bring my stakes, then. <laughs> and your flask of holy water as well. Though I fear they will not deter a modern-day vampire which feeds on electrical data. Watch yourself, Watson. Remember, you are a walking data bank. If some sort of data-sucking fiend is loose in the city, just think what an irresistible target you would be. Dear me! I never thought of that. It's cold enough to freeze the nose off Lord Nelson's statue. Not that you know what I mean. You being a droid and all. Young Wiggins? I may be a droid, but I register ambient temperature most precisely. Although it causes me no lack of comfort, I see that is not true of you. That's using the old eyes and brains, Watson. Tell you the truth, I'd welcome a vampire right about now. Anything to get my blood going. Bella Lugosi and Christopher Lee. Now they were scary. Makes me want to crawl under the covers watching them play their vampire roles. Oh, I don't care what Holmes says. That vampire looks real to me. Wait, what have we here? Well, well, well. A vampire with a sense of fashion. I thought only downtown trendies my age were doing their pointers up yellow. Wonder what Holmes will make of that. My sensors indicate your surface temperature is falling rapidly. <laughs> but Holmes told us to stick together. He was very insistent on that, remember? There is a vending machine in the central computer center. Use it. That's an order, Wiggins. Holmes would not want you catching your death of pneumonia, now would he? All right. Watch yourself, Watson. I'll be right back. Watch myself, the boy says. Now, how am I supposed to do that without remote sensors, I ask you? Wiggins back already? Wiggins, is that you? Answer me! Ooh. What are you? Are you all right, Watson? Uh, yes, but, Holmes, I'm embarrassed to say, I was afraid. You are not programmed for arbitrary self-endangerment, Watson. And a good thing that is, for I have need of you. Did I miss anything? Mr. Holmes, don't be angry. I know we weren't supposed to split up. My fault. I sent him off. No matter. The watch is over. The bird has shown, and the bird has flown. We can go home now and... What? <gasps> What's going on? I was wrong. Our bird has not flown after all. What's that? Could it be? <gasps> the vampire! I command you to halt. You cannot command what you do not understand. No! Tennyson! Did you see that? That thing? More importantly, can you track it? Come on, let's do it. Do what? Holmes, you can't endanger these kids any further. That creature is dangerous. That is debatable, Lestrade. Tell that to Greater New London's database. It just crashed. Uh, now, Lestrade. Furthermore, if there's any tracking to be done, I'm the one who's going to do it. Now go home, kids. That's an order. You heard, Inspector Lestrade. Come, regulars. Let us get our rest. Tomorrow shall be a big day. I didn't mean you, Holmes! I know that. Good night, Lestrade. Ugh. Oh, yes. Tomorrow will be a very big day.
That's correct, sir. There were no fingerprints, no DNA residue, no debris from the crushed hollow disk. Just as I thought. I know what you're thinking, sir. It sounds crazy to me, too. It was like the creature never existed, but I saw it with my own eyes. I do not doubt you saw it. In fact, I am certain you did. And the strangest thing, sir? The next morning, the database was all back, like it had never been gone. Just like the bank and the Central New London computer. Come, Watson, we've learned all we can here. We must track this alleged vampire to its lair. Tennyson, is the creature's electronic signature still strong enough to follow? Good. Lead on, then. Hurry. We must find this vampire's den before the sun sets. But not for the reason you think. A little reporting in. I, is that too much to ask from THE great detective? Oh! No signs of life ahead, Holmes. Good. We may take the creature by surprise yet. Ah, not likely, Holmes. I'm warning you, go back to the surface while you still can. It is dangerous here. Empty threats and idle talk, vampire. You are not what you appear to be, and I shall unmask you. Never! Give up! Cannot get away! Go on! You're sure it went inside? My senses indicate signs of life beyond this wall. As does my intuition. Therefore, there has to be a way inside. Hmm. Aha. Not exactly the greatest security arrangement. Wiggins, Tennyson, Deidre, perhaps you should wait here. Not on your life, Mr. Holmes. There's safety in numbers. Am I right, Irregulars? I agree. Besides, I have to find out where that vampire thingy buys its nail polish. I'm so tired of ordering mine off the internet. Go oh, all right. But no heroics. the mind, doesn't it, Officer Lestrade? And the smaller the mind, the bigger the bottle. Moriarty, you're under arrest! You have no authority in the underground, Lestrade, but I do. Cuffer, Fenwick. <laughs> With pleasure. Oh, must you both be so theatrical? But of course, Inspector Lestrade. By the way, I must thank you for leading me to the vampire's lair. That creature has outfoxed me for the last time. Now it will become my ally, or be entombed down here forever. <laughs> Stand back! <laughs> ah! Bat! You're as brave as you are beautiful, Fenwick. You stay here with Lestrade. I'll track the vampire. Well, we meet at last. Lay down your arms, mortal, or face the wrath of the vampire. Surely you can do better than that, Sherlock Holmes. Yes, one would do well to deceive the master of deceit. And someone has. There is no vampire, Moriarty, unless one counts you, who feeds on the hard-earned credits of law-abiding innocence. Mm. No, oh, Holmes, quit preaching at me. Of course there's a vampire. I have seen it in action. It has interfered with my plans. Why else would I be here? Huh? Stop this charade at once, or your young stage assistants will pay the price. As you wish. The game is over, my friends. Let the man be. Last you, Moriarty! Now, Holmes, where is this vampire I seek? Speak out, or your friends shall suffer my wrath. Did 
Do not hurt these innocent mortals. It is me you want. How right you are. <laughs> My new partner in crime. Partner this, Moriarty. Nice work, Lestrade. You're under arrest, Moriarty. Lesson number one. Never cuff a cop with her own cuffs. She might know how to get out of them. And this time, your little beauty queen won't be around to help you out. I need no man's help to escape the likes of you, Yardy. Don't panic. Moriarty is gone, and I doubt he will be back. At least not immediately. You may reveal yourself now, Miss Amanda Wheelwright. <laughs> How did you? Well, I guess I don't have to disguise my voice anymore. You caught me red-handed, Mr. Holmes. Red and yellow-handed, to be precise. I should have known you'd notice. What did he say? Tennyson says that you are anything but dumb. He has never met anyone who could hack as well as you. Well, except himself, of course. And he thinks you are rather attractive as well. I hate to be the one to put a damper on the festivities, but, young lady, you have a lot of explaining to do. I'm afraid I have to place you under arrest. Now, Lestrade, Amanda was just doing her civic duty. Oh, really? And how do you figure that? Elementary, my dear Lestrade. You see how Miss Amanda is a genius in many ways. While hacking into the Sussex County database, searching, according to Tennyson, for the home address of a certain hollow video star who has an estate in the area, I know it was wrong, Mr. Holmes. I shouldn't have done it. I just wanted to send him a birthday card. Kids. While illegally inside the system, Amanda discovered she was not alone. There was another intruder in the system, Moriarty. He was tagging certain financial data, leading Amanda to conclude that this misadventure was but a prelude to bigger and better data thefts. So, Amanda decided to beat him to the punch, hoping her attack would alert the authorities to certain inherent weaknesses in the system. Amanda created a vampire avatar, which she felt would draw public attention to the problem of data theft. She deleted the entire Sussex County database, but then immediately restored the system, not wishing to do any real harm. To convince us the vampire was real, she crushed a hollow video disc. But there was no debris, because it was a recording. Then, she used the exact same sequence again during the first bank data theft. She designed her vampire based on 200 year old black and white movies, but couldn't resist adding her own colorful touches, such as fingernails, decorated in a manner common only among young, fashion-conscious New London girls, as our Deidre was quick to notice. However, she did not count on our Tennyson's ability to examine Sussex County's data backup system and discover not one, but three unauthorized intrusions. One by her, another by Moriarty, and the final one by her vampire creation. Unfortunately, the authorities did not react fast enough, leaving it up to her to thwart Moriarty's continuing efforts to steal the First Bank and greater new London databases by getting there first. Am I correct, Amanda? To the maxo. So, there never was a vampire, and there never were any data thefts. The databases were restored when Moriarty was hmm. no longer a threat. We should give Miss Wheelwright a medal, Lestrade. Yes, but Amanda should have come to the police in the first place, even if it meant admitting that she was hacking into the system illegally. As a result of this masquerade, people were frightened, not to mention that considerable property damage was incurred. Most of which was caused by you, Lestrade. I am sure Amanda will do community service in penance for her unauthorized transgression. And agree never to violate the law again. Right, Amanda? Just keep that creep Moriarty out of my life. I shall do my best. That is my sole reason for being, Amanda. Come, let us go. Say, Amanda, where do you buy your nail polish? <laughs>